Welcome to Ask the RV Expert. My name is Chuck Woodbury. I'm the editor of RVTravel.com, and I'm here today with our technical editor, Chris Doherty. And we have a question from a reader named Don, who writes, I have some small air pockets underneath my rubber roof. Should I take care of them and how? And I guess, Chris, by take care of them, he means should he do something about it? What do you say? Uh, well, Don, here's the deal. Uh, the air pockets and small wrinkles are uh, considered normal uh, on a rubber RV roof, according to Dicor, the manufacturer of uh, um, a good many of these roofs. Uh, what happens is that sometimes either there is a small section of the roof where the adhesive doesn't take, there's also issues of expansion and contraction, and the vehicle does twist and move as it goes down the road. So on occasion, you will have one of these uh, little bubbles or wrinkles appear. Now, uh, what I recommend people do is just keep an eye on them. Uh, make sure that they're not getting uh, any larger or too large. And what I mean by too large is more than, uh, a, you know, six, eight, ten inches. Uh, and if you see uh, a bubble or a wrinkle continuing to grow, uh, then that may be a concern that should be looked at by a certified technician. Whatever you do, don't puncture or cut any one of the bubbles or wrinkles. Leave them alone. Uh, and then if you notice the problem getting substantially worse later on, then you can have a technician take a look at it for you. Is this something that's normal with, with all rubber roofs, or does this just happen occasionally, or what? Uh, it happens occasionally. Uh, it happens on more rubber roofs than you might think. I've seen it a lot of times uh, where you have these little defects, especially with roofs that are replaced. So if a roof is uh, replaced sometime during the coach's lifetime, you tend to see it more then. Uh, but you'll also see it on newer coaches as well. All right. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome. And thank you for watching.